week. And as you know, the NFL draft was this weekend. Let's take a look at how the Cowboys did. Uh, they filled a very crucial need with a smart defensive selection of Byron Jones on day two. They took a gamble, but they got a top 10 talent and the 60th overall pick at Randy Gregory. They also picked up a linebacker, Damian Wilson, and a young tackle in Chaz Green who can play multiple positions. Uh, Herm here, back, hanging out with us. Uh, take a look at what the Cowboys did. What do you rank them now uh, in the NFC East? They're still the favorite. Okay. Hard for me to say that not being an Eagle fan. Uh-huh. Mm. I do think the, the Eagles have improved on the defensive side of football. I'm a little bit concerned at the quarterback position right now. Can Sam Bradford stay healthy if he's the guy or not with Sanchez? So that, that's, okay. that's a little bit of concern, but I, I still like What the about Eagles. Tim Tebow? Uh, Tim Tebow's more of, to me, uh, he might be involved in a two-point play. Okay. He's a situation player. Okay. Well, we'll see what that you, you realize you got my running back over there now. That guy named yeah. DeMarco. Now he's, he's yours? He, he's really, and that's what, <laughs> you know, that, 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 that's the good thing for them. Yes. But you still have to score points by throwing. Uh, now, the Cowboys, I think they upgraded their defense. This team wasn't very good defensively last year. Rod Marinelli did a fabulous job. <sighs> Only sacked the quarterback 28 times. Exposed the secondary a lot to big plays. They went out and got a corner who I think is a raw, talented kid, uh, the kid from Connecticut. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Gregory, um, I'm actually doing some mentoring with Gregory. Really? Are you really? Uh -huh. Breaking news. Uh oh. Well, Eagles. that's what they while. said. They said they needed someone to actually. Well, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the Dallas organization, but uh, his group contacted me uh, a month before the draft or so, so I visited with. Uh, well, that should give you hope, because that's good. That's good news for you. Already, so we've had so you, you have talked to the oh, kid. Oh, yeah, a okay. couple times already. And, he called me after he, the first round. How did he strike you in your first session? Good. A guy that, that, that knows there's some things in his life that uh, he needs help with. Good. And, uh, I think the Dallas Cowboys do a great job when it comes to helping players. This comes before the Des Bryant issue. He'll know this. Charles Haley. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, they, they've had situations like this before, so he's in a spot where he's got a support system. Sure. Starts with starts with Jerry, starts with the head coach, obviously, and then Rod Marinelli. And so I think he couldn't be happier, the conversation we had, with going to the Dallas Cowboys mm. because he knows they have a plan for him. And he's, he's screaming for help. Mm. And, and that's a good thing. So... Going forward, hopefully it works out for them. And they took a shot at, you know, uh, Hardy. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, they've got some pretty good rushers. Sean Lee's coming back. He's, He's coming hurt back. last year. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you look at this team defensively, they'll be better. Offensively, the only concern is, can McFadden play 16 games? Yeah. I don't know that. I'm so, hoping he can. Do you think they should have a running back? There's still time. Okay. You don't play till September. Mm. So they'll look at this situation and they'll look at it. And the more they look at it, they'll see where McFadden's at. And they'll, you know, go, well, do we need to trade for a guy? Do we need to trade for a second running back? Enter AP. Oh, they, I don't think they're going to get him. They would love to get him. This sure. and, if they got AP, let me tell you something. It's not fair. Right. Okay. Wow. They wouldn't be fair if they got not AP. Not fair fight. Wow. Really? Not a fair fight. In my opinion. Very you get him, person. not a fair fight. Mm. They're not, not a fair fight. If they, if, they, if they were to get him, and, I, and I'll, I'll go on record. If they get him, I, don't, I think they are. They're my NFC favorite. Okay. With they're, they're slight favorites already. Well, with him, it's like that's over. Look out. It's a wrap. It's over. Yeah. Back to Randy Gregory. I'm on record on the show. I, I didn't love the pick. I don't know anything about him except his track record. Yes. Or lack thereof. Because it's, it's pretty sorry what's happened to this young man so far. Yeah. Now, if you're right. Love it because you stole him where you where you got him in the draft. He can play, but to me, he came across as more trouble than worth. And if he continues to have issues, th then it's a bust. You know, it's it's you, you wasted that pick he, right. that far down in the draft. It gives me great hope that you're somewhat in his life, even on the periphery, and he should listen to you because you know the score. You know how the game has to be played on and off the field and that gives me heart that this young man now has a chance in large part because of your involvement here well, I did not know that okay. now they have upgraded I, again the Hardy acquisition you know what I think about Greg Hardy I, I wanted him gone for the year it's 10 games fine out of sight out of mind for a while but when he does come back he can play we know he can play, can play. on this level he can play he can be a difference maker
Yes. Now, back to the running back. I wanted Adrian Peterson somehow, some way. It was like heart overhead that they would finally acquire him some way right before the draft. I, I was even game to try trading the first pick straight up for Adrian Peterson if they would do that, whatever they were, 27 yes. at the bottom of the first round. Apparently, either Minnesota said we're not interested or Dallas said no because Stephen Jones was on the record. We don't trade picks like that for veteran players. And there would be some risk of Adrian Peterson getting hurt at age 30 as he goes into his 30s, obviously. Right. But I'm with you. It's game over if you get that guy behind that line. Even for one year, it's game over. Even if he lasted a couple of years, it's worth the price of admission. Because Byron Jones, I, I saw him when he was here. I was watching him in the gym. You know, he set the combine record for the standing broad jump. I think he set a world record yes, for it. Yes, athletic. Yeah. Oh, he's just explosive. I don't, I, I'm not convinced he's as great a football player as he is a workout guy. He's, you know, he, like he, a, he's got an upside. You're right. He's okay. still, he's a raw yeah, talented I'm, guy. I'm not sure about I that. I agree. Okay. I agree. So, but that was a need position for them because they need a corner and a safety. Yes. And he may be both because he's big enough to That's play exactly safety. right. But the running back, by committee now, Joseph Randall, every time he touched the ball last year, something good happened. He averaged almost seven yards a carry in 51 times that he touched the football. That's pretty good. Yes. So you got him. McFadden was just sensational in the SEC. And for whatever reason in Oakland, he was not sensational. He was nicked. He was banged. Or First maybe, year or two, he was pretty good. He was pretty good, but never like that. He never like, did didn't what, see it. What, what, what he used to do to LSU or right. whoever they put, you know, the big SEC yes. battles. He would just run wild on people. And he looked like he was capable of doing that in pro football. I loved him before the draft. But then they got that kid, Brian Williams, who, who was pretty good for the, the Cardinals, and they sort of stashed him on, on the practice squad last year. So it's by committee now. Yes. you got three, and you just say, our line is so good, and we've even beefed that up with some depth through the draft. Maybe they could just do it by committee and say, the that's line is the star. Yeah, the you line know, is the star, and that's yeah. what they're saying. Yeah. That's exactly what they're saying. But I agree with you. If they got Adrian Peterson, mm -hmm. It's a wrap. It's all over. Uh, can you stick around and talk about the Jets? You may know a thing or two about that. Airplane. Hey, hey, come on. All right. The Jets, uh, they scored pretty big in the draft. Yeah, they Are they good really, job. truly contenders uh, in the AFC East? Should the Patriots be concerned? Our coach hanging out with us. We'll be right back in just a few moments. All right, so we talked about how the Cowboys did in the draft. What about the Jets? Uh, they got Leonard Williams, and in the fourth round, they managed to pick up uh, what Skip says is the steal, quarterback Bryce Petty. Mm. After the draft, we want to rank the Jets in the AFC East. Coach still here with us. Where do you rank them? Are they really going to give the Patriots a run for their money? Uh, I think they are. I think all those teams in the division are. But, but, but it started with me with the Jets before the draft. Okay. Mm. When they went out and acquired a whole new secondary. <laughs> they brought Camardi back. They brought Revis back. Screams. Gilchrist, okay? So when you look at that, this is a team that gave up 31 touchdown passes last year. They were really good up front. They had a front seven with Wilkerson and the guys, and, and now they get Leonard. They went out and got Brandon Marshall on offense. They also bring in the kid from Ohio State, mm. Devin Smith. Okay? Play. Reminds me a lot of the Vernius Coles built-wise, mm -hmm. okay? And the key is they bring in Chan Gailey, mm. offensive coordinator. Okay. Mm. He's, he's, he's a guy that can take an uh, athlete, especially a quarterback, and put him in position to run an offense around his skill set. So, so Chan is involved in this offense, which I think will be a lot better than it was last year. Okay. You know, you might even enjoy coaching this team. He's staying right. here. He doesn't want to leave no. the spin. Yeah, because you know what staying here is? Yeah. You never have to worry about the score. Oh. You know? It's always good. You win every time. You've been there and done yeah, been that, there, right? Yeah. Won a division if I was there, by the way. You know what? This well could be the best defense in pro football. Especially now that you throw Leonard Williams, we had him here on the show, he, he's a talent, he's a raw kid and all that, but if you throw him into the rotation mm -hmm. and just let him go in there and just let it fly, yeah. which they will be able to do, they are going to be a load for anybody to deal. It's going to be hard to score on this defense. The front seven, the back seven, however you want to look at yeah. it, they're loaded from top to bottom to me. It just comes down to the quarterback. Yep. Now, I like all the pieces around him, Brandon Marshall, and they got my man Zach Stacy from Vanderbilt yes. University. Yep. So, so these, these are all nice picks. Devin Smith makes big plays, right. you know, okay. Especially, the, the little side of this, the Buffalo Bills? They got pretty good oh, defense, yeah, they too. Do. Yeah, they got they pretty do. good defense. The Miami Dolphins? Yeah. Well, well, we got Sue and the they guys? Yeah. yeah. They're pretty good, too. So all of a sudden, all these teams realize, you know, we don't have the quarterback maybe to beat Tom yeah, Brady. We, yeah, sure. Well, on the other side of football, we better load up. Yeah. And go go hit Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Try to cover those receivers. Sure, we're just this not is going to be an interesting division. Right, this yeah. is going to be a lot of fun. Maybe in two years, Bryce Petty. It could even take three years. He's just going to be a really good starting quarterback in the league. 
but he'll be raw for a while. But in the meantime, they're sticking with Gino, right? Right. Gino's the guy right now. Well, I don't know. Ryan Fitzpatrick might be the guy. Well, it's recovering from a broken leg. What Gino. do you think? You think Gino? Gino? All right. Uh, I want to say thank you to Chris Broussard, uh, Chauncey Billups, Coach Herm Edwards, thank and you. our very own Stephen, Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith, breaking came news. Came in here, gave us some breaking Floyd news. Floyd wants Manny in a year. Oh, boy. Wow. Here we go again. Here we go again. That check sound good. See you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN2. Thank you for joining us. Have a great afternoon, everyone. <laughs> be played on and off the field, and that gives me heart that this young man now has a chance in large part because of your involvement here. Well, I did not know that. Okay. Now, they have upgraded. I, again, the Hardy acquisition, you know what I think about Greg Hardy. I, I wanted him gone for the year. It's 10 games, fine, out of sight, out of mind for a while. But when he does come back, he can play. We know he can play. play. On this level, he can play. He can be a difference maker. Yes. Now, back to the running back. I wanted Adrian Peterson somehow, some way. It was like heart overhead that they would finally acquire him some way right before the draft. I, I was even game to try trading the first pick straight up for Adrian Peterson if they would do that, whatever they were, 27, yes. the bottom of the first round. Apparently, either Minnesota said we're not interested or Dallas said no because Stephen Jones was on the record. We don't trade picks like that for veteran players. And there would be some risk of Adrian Peterson getting hurt at age 30 as he goes into his 30s, obviously. Right. But I'm with you. It's game over if you get that guy behind that line. Even for one year, it's game over. Even if he lasted a couple of years, it's worth the price of admission. Because Byron Jones, I, I saw him when he was here. I was watching him in the gym. You know, he set the combine record for the standing broad jump. I think he set a world record yes. for it. Yes, athletic. Yeah. Oh, he's just explosive. I don't, I, I'm not convinced he's as great a football player as he is a work at it. And the more they look at it, they'll see where McFadden's at. And they'll, you know, go, well, do we need to trade for a guy? Do we need to trade for a second running back? Enter AP. Oh, they, I don't think they're going to get him. They would love to get him. This sure. And, if they got AP, let me tell you something. It's not fair. Okay. Wow. They wouldn't be fair if they got Not fair fight. Wow. Really? Not a fair fight. In my opinion. Very you get him, person. not a fair fight. Mm. Not, not, not a fair fight. If they, if, they, if they were to get him, and, I, and I'll, I'll go on record, if they get him, I, don't, I think they are, they're my NFC favorite. Okay. With they're, they're slight favorites already. Well, with him, it's like, that's over. Look out. It's a wrap. It's over. Yeah. <sighs> Back to Randy Gregory. I'm on record on the show. I, I didn't love the pick. I don't know anything about him except his track record. Yes. Or lack thereof. Because because it's it's pretty sorry what's happened to this young man so far. Yeah. Now, if you're right, I love it because you stole him. Where you, where you got him in the draft, he can play. But to me, he came across as more trouble than worth. And if he continues to have issues, th then it's a bust. You, know, it's, it's, you, you wasted that pick. He, right. That far down in the draft. It gives me great hope that you're somewhat in his life, even on the periphery, and he should listen to you because you know the score. You know how the game has to be played on and off the field, and that gives me heart that this young man now has a chance in large part. What do you rank them now uh, in the NFC East? They're still the favorite. Oh. Hard for me to say that not being an Eagle fan. Uh-huh. Mm. And I do think the, the way, Eagles have improved on the defensive side of football. I'm a little bit concerned at the quarterback position right now. Can Sam Bradford stay healthy if he's the guy, or if not with Sanchez? So that, that's, okay. that's a little bit of concern, but I, I still like What the about Eagles. Tim Tebow? Uh, Tim Tebow's more of, to me, uh, he might be involved in a two-point play. Okay. He's a situation player. Okay. Well, we'll see what that you, you realize you got my running back over there now. That guy named yeah. DeMarco. Now he's, he's yours? He, he's really, and that's what, <laughs> yeah. you know, that, 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 that's the good thing for them. Yes. But you still have to score points by throwing. Uh, now, the Cowboys, I think they upgraded their defense. This team wasn't very good defensively last year. Rod Marinelli did a fabulous job. Only sacked the quarterback 28 times. Exposed the secondary a lot to big plays. They went out and got a corner who I think is a raw, talented kid. Uh, the kid from Connecticut. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Gregory, um, I'm actually doing some mentoring with Gregory. Really? Oh, really? Uh -huh. Breaking news. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, that's what they said. They said they needed someone to actually... Well, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the Dallas organization, but uh, his group contacted me uh, a month before the draft or so, so I visited with... Uh, well, that should Randy. give you hope, because that's good. A that's good news for you. Already. So we've had So you, you have talked to the oh, kid. Oh, yeah, okay. a couple of times already. And, he called me after he, the first round. How did he strike you in your first... 